Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are looking at different concepts from physics and maths. Today let us look at the concept called dot product or scalar product of vectors. You may have also come across a term called inner product of vectors when you are studying vector spaces. So for all of them let us understand what exactly it means. Now you have to consider two vectors. Here you can see there are two vectors a bar which is a1 i cap plus a2j cap plus a3k cap and b bar which is b1 i cap plus b2j bar plus b3k bar. And now you want to multiply these two vectors. So how do we do it? There are two ways. There is dot product as well as cross product. Now since the name dot product you can understand that basically when you denote it this is how it looks a bar dot b bar actually scalar product is a more suitable name because it tells you what kind of an output you are going to get if it's a scalar product when you multiply these two vectors you get a number as a result or you get a scalar as a result and that's why this is called scalar product of vectors so what do you have to do? You have to consider components of the vectors, multiply them and then finally take sum of products of the corresponding components. So here you can see what is the i component for a bar, it's a1. Similarly for b bar, it's b1. So you have taken these two together and multiplied them, taken a product a1, b1. Similarly in case of j cap, a2, b2 and third in case of k cap a3 b3 so you have three terms a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 and now you have to add them up so the dot product is going to be equal to a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 now um, maybe before looking at some more notations let us just solve a quick question on this so let us say there are these two vectors a bar is i cap minus 2j cap plus 3k cap and b bar is 4i cap plus 5j bar 5j cap minus k cap. Now what is our rule? You have to multiply the first i components similarly then j components k components and add them up. So going back what is the i component here? This is 1 and this is 4. So this is 1 into 4 is 4 then here it's minus 2 into 5 so it's minus 10 and this is 3 and minus 1 so minus 3 so 4 minus 10 minus 3 or 4 minus 13 which is basically minus 9 so the answer is minus 9 so this is how dot product works now going back there is another notation here if you consider the angle between these two vectors and if you say that that angle is theta then the product dot product is going to be magnitude of vector a magnitude of vector b into cos theta if you have forgotten how to find out the magnitude or length of a vector we have another episode on that you can just check it out basically this is for if a bar is the vector then its magnitude is under root a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square so basically the idea is it is square root of the dot product of the vector with itself. So here instead of a1 b1 it will be a1 into a1 so a1 square a2 into a2 a2 square and a3 into a3 a3 square so a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square and you are just taking its square root. So that is again based on dot product itself. So this notation is a bar dot b bar is magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into cos theta or in other terms if you have been asked to find out the angle between the two vectors cos theta is going to be equal to dot product of these two vectors a bar dot b bar divided by magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar so that is another notation which is used and again if you want to find out the angle this is very useful because you have to just do this calculation and take cos inverse of that. Now dot product has some properties. So let us say that there are three vectors u bar v bar and w bar and there is a scalar called k. Then there is the commutative property that means if you take dot product of u bar and v bar it is equal to dot product of v bar and u bar 
so the order does not matter here similarly this distributive property so if you add these two vectors v bar plus w bar and then if you take dot product of u bar with this addition it is u bar dot v bar plus u bar dot w bar then there is associative property so if you multiply k to u bar dot v bar it is as good as saying k u bar dot v bar and it's u bar dot k v bar and then there is property of magnitude so just in the uh, just a two minutes back we spoke about magnitude right if you recall see here we are talking about magnitude this is how it is written in mod because it's positive value or sometimes it is also written like norm in this manner as well so if you take two vectors take its dot product that we understood how it is going to lead to the square remember we always already said that it will be a1 into a1 so a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square so that is why it is going to look like this now when you see this these properties they can be useful to you in some complicated situations when certain vectors are there and you want to calculate it your life will become simpler because instead of for example doing these two dot products you can just take one dot product here in this way it can be helpful so this is about dot product thank you